Hey guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit of, okay, uh, it's going to annoy me like crazy. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about myself for a second. This isn't going to be one of my usual rants about things that bug me, but this is going to have to do with some things that bug me, but this is going to be more of a, I need to tell some things about me and just have this video on hand in case I get this again, which I will. So... I I haven't really done any videos that have told you about me. Most of them have just been ranting. But I, I'm 18. I turned 18 back in November. Um, I am kind of psycho. Guess not really. I have a lot of problems. And I have a lot of different views. And I have a lot of things that I see but other people don't. And just... A lot of different things. So, I should have thought of what I needed to say before I started this. Okay, so I've been I've been having a lot of problems with school since basically always. <laughs> um, when I go back to visit my elementary school teachers, they always are just like, "Do you turn in your homework yet?" Like they were always telling me I never turned in my homework and they were always telling me that I needed to and that I was going to have to do that in junior high and high school and I knew that but I didn't really want to listen because my entire family is very intelligent and um, I don't really like saying that because then I always get those people that are trying to test me almost to see if I have the right to say that I am intelligent but I don't need to do that. I know I'm intelligent, all my friends know I'm intelligent, all my family knows I'm intelligent, I'm good. Even my teachers do. They used to, they hate me so much because of this. Okay, so, um, so back in elementary school my teachers were always mad because I never did any homework. Once junior high came around, I still never did any homework, but it was more of an issue because I had so many teachers and so much going on that I, I failed basically all my classes. I was very behind on my grades. It's not that I didn't know the information, but the reason why my teachers hate me is because I never did any work, but I aced all the tests because I knew the information and there, therefore I didn't really find a reason that I needed to study it. I never even studied for tests. I just kind of went to class and then I did the tests. Like I never studied. I never did any work. My teachers, I am that person that all teachers hate. So in junior high, I started kind of realizing that that wasn't really the way that I like to learn. And I realized this through piano. My sister was teaching me piano in sixth grade and I ended up quitting after a year because I was sick of practicing and practicing and I started teaching myself. And so that's, that's around the time that I learned that I learn better on my own. And um, my teachers just hated me so bad because of that. Because they loved me. They loved me as a student and how inspiring I was and stuff. But I never did any work. And I just always had Fs. Um, so at, when high school came around, I knew that there was going to be an issue. And I told people I would try and I did try but it was just so hard for me to get into a habit that I'd never been in in the first place and so I still was wasn't turning in work and I was going to um, doing summer packets to make up for all the grades that I'd missed in ninth grade and just it was bad and in 11th grade was when I started realizing that I didn't want to do what everybody else wanted me to do because that wasn't right for me and that wasn't what was working for me. I kind of felt the things in school were very pointless. They weren't teaching me any life lessons and I knew that I wasn't going to use it later, which you hear students say that so often and you hear the, the obvious answers of the teachers and stuff, but like, why are they teaching us stuff that you don't, you won't use later? Like that doesn't really make sense to me. And I learned all the stuff that they were teaching me so easily, but I still had to take the, the lower classes because I hadn't passed all of the, the ones to get to the higher ones yet, even though I knew everything. Like, I skipped geometry and went to Algebra 2, but then I had to end up going back to geometry and Algebra 2 because I had failed them. And it was just 
so all over the place and my schooling just wasn't good. So around halfway through my 11th year, I decided that something needed to happen. That I wasn't doing anything. I was just, school was just not the thing that was right for me and I knew that. But it was so hard because everybody expected me to, to do something school-wise, but that's not where I wanted to go. And so I started talking to my therapist and my mom about it, and um, I also started looking into charter schools, thinking maybe if I found something that was more, something that I actually wanted to learn, then I would actually go through with it. But there weren't a lot of options in this area, and I didn't feel really good enough to get into the art school, because I have a passion for art, but I'm not exactly talented all the way at it unless I do it on my own, which this was a school thing, which we already learned that with my piano. And so I really kind of didn't know what to do. Um, that was when I was back dating Anthony. I was kind of only staying in school for mostly the social aspect and also because I wanted to go to prom with him. Those were the main two reasons I was staying in school. And he kind of beat me up about it a lot, saying that he really didn't want to be with somebody who couldn't even finish school, and just, there was a lot of crap going on, so I just kind of put it aside and decided to deal with it later. Once my senior year came around, I knew that I'd, I had failed too many classes. I had taken summer school this summer before and made up a little bit, but I was still, like, a couple credits behind, and after the first term, I was not doing very well at keeping up with my work, because it just wasn't something that... I felt I needed to do. And so I heard at my school that if you don't have enough credits to graduate, they kick you out in April. So I knew I was going to kick, be kicked out anyway, and all school was doing was making me miserable. I wasn't learning anything new. I already knew everything that I was learning. I was basically just going for the social aspect. I just, nothing was going right for me with school. So after a year, of thinking about it, of considering it, um, on December 4th, 2013, I finally dropped out of high school. And I got so much crap for it. So, I'm gonna, going to address some of that crap that I got. Um, as soon as I dropped out, the main thing that people questioned was why I dropped out when I had so little time left. I dropped out right before my the mid mid semester split thing. I dropped out right before the end of first semester. So I only had one semester left of high school. And so many people were just like, "Why? Why did you leave when you were so close?" And as I said before, they would have kicked me out in April anyway. I didn't have enough credits to graduate. It wasn't really something that I could do anyway if I had stayed. I would have been kicked out anyway. So First of all, I I didn't drop out because I felt stupid. I didn't drop out because I was stupid. My reasoning was because school was simply not the right thing for me. The things that I want to do with my life do not need a college education or a high school education. I don't want to go to college. I just, nothing that I wanted to do with my life really needed that to be there and so I didn't really know why I was there and it was really hard for me to fully grasp that myself which is why I really understand why it's hard for other people to grasp that too but education the way that it's set in this day and age isn't right for most people the average high school student has about the same mental anxiety and depression as an average patient in a mental hospital in the 50s. That's an actual statistic. And if you don't think that that means that there's something wrong with the education system, then I need you to take a step back and really think about it. Because there's really something wrong with the way that we're teaching people and what we're teaching people and why. And it's become such a cultural norm to get a, a high school education that it's really hard for people to grasp that some people don't get it and that doesn't make them idiots and that doesn't make them naive and that doesn't mean that they're automatically be, be gonna be working at McDonald's. Like people are allowed to do things with their life that don't involve the social norm, which is basically what my life revolves around. And I don't do it just for fun or because I like it. My brain 
literally cannot function <laughs> working in that system. Um, because I have a couple mental illnesses and the combination of all of them together, it's just like, I cannot handle going and finishing high school and going to college and getting a job. That just, that system and that flow doesn't flow correctly with the way that my brain is. And a lot of people aren't really understanding that and it's really starting to be difficult for me. And so one of the biggest things that I want to address about the fact that I dropped out is that I'm not an idiot. I I am quite a knowledgeable person and I think a lot and there are so many people who are great thinkers who have left high school and now they're famous and I don't necessarily want to be famous and I just use them as proof that you can drop out and still be successful. And it has nothing to do with how much education you have. It has how much to do with how much determination you have to chase your dreams. And speaking of dreams, I would like to explain the full reason why I actually dropped out. My number one priority in life is my mental health. And my number one goal in life is to never do anything that makes me directly unhappy. What school was doing for me was making me fall into a very deep depression with how much all my teachers were talking to me and saying like, why aren't you doing your work and treating me kind of like an idiot, even though they were always like, I know you're a smart girl. And just, it was getting really hard on me to be in such a flow that didn't flow with me. And it was just making me so depressed. And that goes directly against both of my, both my priority and my number one goal in life. I was becoming unhappy and my mental health was suffering because of it. So I left. The main reason why I dropped out of high school is because it was making me unhappy and it wasn't right for me. And here's the problem I have with why people don't understand that. Is because when I say that I dropped out, the immediate reaction is to ask me why. Which is understandable, but also extremely annoying. If I had finished high school, not a single person would ever ask me, why? Why did you graduate? And because it's such a cultural norm to graduate. But the fact that I did drop out, I'm constantly questioned. And it's like, if I had graduated, I would have had so many people say like, congratulations, I know how hard it was for you. Like, I am so proud of you. But I put my mental health as a priority and not a single person praised me for it. I, it wasn't just an out of the blue, like, oh, I feel like dropping out. Like, I considered this for a really long time. I talked to my, men like, my therapist, my parents, well, my mom. I actually didn't tell my dad that I was dropping out until two days after the fact. Because he's kind of scary about stuff like that. And, but just, I just wanted to get that clear. I dropped out because the system wasn't working with me. It was making me unhappy. I needed to put my mental health above what others expected of me. And I don't feel like I did anything wrong. I feel like I made the right choice. I am so much happier than I would have been if I had stayed. The only difference is that I'm lonelier because after not seeing my friends five times a week, every week, they kind of forgot I existed. <laughs> So I just kind of sit here all day. But I, despite the fact that I am very lonely all the time, I am very happy with my choices and what I've done with my life. And I feel like I will aspire to do great things. So just as a final, I dropped out because it was making me unhappy. I put my mental health as a priority. It's not a bad thing that I dropped out and I'm very happy with the choice that I made. I do not regret it in the least. And lastly, I'm not going to get my GED. I'm not going to go into college. That's not something I want to do with my life. If education obviously wasn't doing anything for me and I didn't feel like I needed it in my life, then I don't see why I have to get some sort of proof of my education just to prove to other people that I'm not an idiot because I know I'm not an idiot and the people that care about me know I'm not an idiot and that's enough for me. So I'm very happy with the choice that I've made to drop out and it, I know it happened like eight months ago but I'm still getting people questioning me why and saying things like, oh I don't like pickles on my burger and it's very insulting to me because dropping out doesn't instantly make you an idiot. 
It doesn't mean that you're going to go into fast food automatically. That's not what dropping out means. I did something good for myself and I don't need to be put down for it. Someday I will probably be very happy with where I've gone through my life so far and I'm excited to live my way until then. But I don't need anybody coming into my life and expecting things of me because that's where things start to go wrong. People expected me to graduate, it, dra graduate and I didn't. So now people are expecting me to go into fast food and I won't. Just learn that people aren't always doing what you expect them to. And really try to respect people who dropped out. I am honestly not an idiot. I know that I sound kind of crazy and maybe I am kind of crazy, but I'm not hurting you, and it has nothing to do with your life, so it's none of your business. Because I'm happy with my choices, and that's really all that matters. So I just needed to get that out there and make things clear. I am very happy with my decision to drop out, and I don't need people constantly questioning me why. Because, why did you graduate? Has anyone ever asked you that? Well... Yeah, I'm sick of being questioned for my personal choices in my life, especially by people I really care about. I, my dad said that I can't continue to live in this house unless I take my GED. He said that a couple months ago. I'm kind of hoping he's forgot about it because I will not take my GED. It goes against everything I stand for. And just, I really wish that people would learn to respect others' choices and learn that my life has nothing to do with yours, and don't make it so that I have to live my life according to your expectations. <laughs> like, that's like a classic emotional teen thing to say, but it's really true. Like, my life is my own, and your life is yours, so don't try to expect anything of me because you're probably gonna be wrong. So thanks for kind of listening to this rant about my schooling and stuff and how it's been affecting me, how people are constantly expecting less of me just because I chose to do something good for my, ment Ugh, for my mental health. And that needs to stop. So hopefully more people will get a better understanding of where I stand and people will stop thinking less of dropouts. Because that's one of my goals, is to get people to understand that a dropout does not mean you're an automatic failure. Just like if you get a high school education, you are not automatically granted, like, fortune and success in your life. That's not something that happens. It goes the same with dropouts. You're not automatically destined to be a failure if you drop out. And a lot of people don't see that that goes both ways. So hopefully you see that now. And I guess I'll see you next time I feel like ranting about something, which will probably be soon because I'm having a lot of issues lately with my current situation of life. The end. Bye.